Hey guys, it's Tanika and welcome back. Now I have a lot of new faces here so I just wanted to say hey and thanks for checking out my channel. The beautiful Anna Elaine here on YouTube was ever so kind to mention me in her latest video about pale beauty gurus that you need to follow. So I am so grateful and really thank her for doing that. I am so happy to have you all here and I hope that you find my channel helpful and also entertaining. If you don't follow Anna, I will leave her channel and that video linked down in the description box so that if you need more pale beauty gurus to go follow, you've got a few options. Alright, so in today's video I'm going to be reviewing the new Anastasia Beverly Hills Powder Bronzer and I have the lightest shade Rosewood. I'm going to be going over how the product performs, comparing it to some other bronzers in my collection, giving you a demo and then letting you know if I think it is worth buying. Before we get into it, if you aren't already, come follow me on Instagram. I'll have that linked down below. And I've also just started an account on Vero. So if you're on Vero, come find me. I'll also link that below. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and let's get into it. As always with my reviews, I like to start off with some details. So firstly, I picked up this bronzer directly from the ABH website. It retails for 28 US dollars, so around about 35 Australian, and you get 10 grams of product. Shipping is a tad expensive. International, it's a flat rate fee of $17.95 US, but it is super fast. ABH had a huge launch. My order took around three days to process, and then once it was shipped, it took four days to get here. If you don't want to pay the shipping cost, then I'm sure it will get to Australia soon. You'll just have to be patient. <laughs> now this is a matte bronzer that features a finely milled formula to offer buildable coverage and seamless blending. There are six shades in the range to choose from and as I said earlier I picked up the lighter shade called Rosewood and this one is described as a light golden. If you're watching this review because you're pale and want to see if this bronzer will suit you, for reference I have a neutral to cool undertone and some foundations that match me are the Maybelline Fit Me in 110 Porcelain and the Marc Jacobs Remarkable in 10 Ivory Light. As described, the formula of this bronzer is super soft and it blends very easily. It is really pigmented though and I learnt my lesson the hard way. I took way too much the first time so it was just a bit overwhelming to try and blend out on such a pale complexion. So keep that in mind when you are using this bronzer for the first time. You just need to take a little bit and build it up gradually. It builds up really easily and it blends out beautifully without turning muddy on the skin. It also has really great staying power. I can wear this for well over 10 hours and it doesn't fade at all. I'll insert a demo now of me applying the bronzer so you can see what I'm talking about and how I like to build the product up. On to the actual shade I picked up now and on the site they don't have a description of what undertone the bronzer is suited for. So with this being said I was a little unsure whether to get rosewood or tawny. When I first got the bronzer and opened it up I was like oh shit like this is way too warm. But after playing with it a bit and figuring it out it really does work for my pale skin. You just have to take a really light hand. I'm actually running it today so you can see what it looks like. Mm -mm -mm. If I wanted it to be darker, I could definitely go ahead and build it up, but today I just went for a light look. So this is what it actually looks like in the pan, and if I just hold up some of my other bronzers next to it, you can see that it does look really warm. So this is the ABH next to the Becca Bali Sands bronzer. This is it next to the Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil bronzer. 
And then this is what it looks like up against NARS Laguna, which is actually the darkest bronzer I have in my collection. I'll insert some arm swatches now of other bronzers in my collection so you can compare it to the ABH. Okay, so the first bronzer here is the Anastasia Beverly Hills bronzer in Rosewood. The second one is the Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil bronzer in Light. And the third one here is the Benefit Hula Light. Now these three bronzers are all matte. The next two bronzers have more of a satin finish. The first one is the Becca Sunlit Bronzer in Bali Sands. And then this one is the NARS Laguna Bronzer. Overall, I would recommend this bronzer, but only if you are confident with bronzing. The fact that it is super pigmented, I think would be too much for a beginner as it can easily be overdone. And that's not the look we're going for. But I do think that it is a great matte formula that blends beautifully and you do get a lot of product for the price. Well, I hope this video was helpful for you today, and if it was, then please give it a thumbs up. If you have any other questions, just leave me a comment down below and I'll get right back to you. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you aren't already, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!